My name is Mrs. Alia. This one, what? The Alcoin General Manager, Reggie Lagos, the Quarter. I come to the office, you know, uh, as early as possible. I resume so early. I'm an early comer. I get to the office as early as 5.35 for that to sleep. Uh, well, not because of anything. I live in the Shanghai area and uh, because of the traffic, uh, I normally live as early as possible so as to avoid traffic because traffic in Lagos is killing and that Shanghai area in Lagos is another thing. So the reason why I live so early in the office every day. Yeah, she's a woman at the realm of affairs right now. She's doing great and mighty things. She's she's very hardworking. She's she's uh, a very humble lady when you see her. She has character. You know, and that's one fantastic thing that I like about her. Very, very cautious woman. And uh, she's been able to man the station very, very well. Very, very well. At the end of each program, you see a lot of people praying for her, saying, yeah, they are praying for Lagos and they are praying for the woman at the helm of affairs, you know, really giving her, you know, personal prayers, because she's doing very well. She's doing Sincerely speaking, I have seen people who are passionate. I've worked with a lot of people who are very, very dutiful. I've worked with people who are sincere, who are honest who are uh, team player Ayobami Shotowa Mrs. Ayobami Shotowa she's somebody I hold, hold in high esteem in the sense that she is just too fantastic well, I, I, apart from uh, something that I usually do is that it's only enough for you to be good at the best it's not enough for you to be so professional it's not enough for you to be so peaceful. But I tell you, the human art is what I'm talking about. The professional, the skillful, the skill that I have. But the most important thing that people feel hard and the next thing of everybody's life that one can take it is what I call character. Yes, uh, Mrs. Ayo is a woman of many parts who cannot adequately be described with a few adjectives. She represents many things out of which maybe just three. To illustrate our personality, I'll just quickly uh, 
emphasize. Ayashotonwa is an epitome of professionalism in the media industry, as it is, especially in the field of broadcasting. Not just a professional to a job, a professional in human management, a relationship. I've seen that with members of staff in the Lagos, and you begin to wonder this mentality of Nigeria where you feel, oh, I'm the boss, so I need to talk to she, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, she's the GM of the Lagos. You know, you know, she's anything with the world. I can give it two seconds to know. So, for me, she's the total package. She's the wonderful one. She has done so well for us in terms of the technological advancement of the organization. He has invested in the area of ICT. He made us to be part of the world. Like in terms of to make us part of the global village, as you can see, and I know you too, as a veteran uh, journalist and broadcaster, that uh, we, you know, we are part of the entire globe. Everybody listens to us, both terrestrial and online. We are being listened to everywhere in the world. Actually, I will tell you, this was made possible by the general manager, Mrs. Um She's a good writer. She goes very hard. She learned from the job fast. And um, she's a very religious person. Um, all in all, I think um, uh, years in the uh, years in the service has proven that um, um, she has done well for herself. Um, it's very difficult to find words or adjectives that describe Ms. Bayo Fukuawa because you know, out of over 7.5 billion people walking on the surface of the earth. Her own kind is very rare. She's a fantastic woman. She's a personal broadcaster. She's a first team and a professional excellence. You know, I have taken, I've learned a lot from her. I've learned a lot from her. From her own leadership. She's just a simple woman. She just wants something. She just wants to get it done. And she took her time. She took her time to study everything. She, she looked at you, she looked at you from the body language, even before you talk, but you just not ready to convince her. And you can see that, well, you just have to go and continue your the path. Hey, Auntie Ayo, Shutonwa, she's a very strong and good confidant to me. Um, I've always known her, or I've known her for over 15 years now, and I'm on the funk with you. I, I am extremely inspired about uh, organization and leadership skills. I believe I'm in that uh, silence and uh, delegatory behavior. And uh, someone who is very humble, wouldn't allow her to get the best and I would give her a chance to do this. This time I come to this program and it's I could recall when I met her the first time I'm seeing her for the first time. I said, so you are the are your by me should talk about that we always listen to. And um, she was head of programs then, and I came with my program, the Eleni Ogo Day program. After just 30 minutes discussion with her, I just felt that this is a penny. This is just the person that could handle the program. During my campaign in 2000 and, uh, 2020, precisely December, I met her in her office. You know, I was expecting to, I, I went into a big office. I was expecting to see someone that will, that, that, that will, that the office will, everything in the office will evolve around her. But I met a different personality entirely. That day, I had tremendous respect. She created a need for herself that if everybody who occupies a high sensitive position like that would be and all around that in a way and manner that it projects the positive image of an organization. Uh, I met her about 23, 24 years ago. There are some things I know about Mr. Yutonwa while we're working. Uh, you need to be very tidy. 
orderly, intelligent, hardworking, uh, you should be able to shun all forms of greed because Ms. Yutowa herself is a very, very giving person. Before, I used to think Aya Shutowa is a woman, is a man, just by the way the name goes. But the day I met her, I now realized that Aya Shutowa that I've been hearing is not a man, but a woman. But she's so fantastic. Aya Shutongwa has been able to sort of give a fair term to gender fairness in terms of aiding women to achieve uh, greater and higher maximum potential. See that she has displayed professionalism and she has she she has really led the uh, station to greater mightier because you see, when a station, when uh, negotiations are endeared to a given, there are too many stations in Lagos, but uh, you see a lot of people identifying with Tiwanti Wamititi, which is our, <laughs> our radio. How significant it was for our service, for our integrity, for our immunity, for professionalism, for really caring work. For somebody who believes that, you see, there's this mentality of, oh, it's government's job, I can live their life. For somebody who doesn't believe in that thing, who believes that, look, we must do it the way it should be done. Don't say that it's true. One thing that kept me wondering what kind of human being is this woman is the kind of dedication. Is she's, she's such a resourceful person. Actually, okay. In terms of referencing, in terms of uh, investment, I said it's, it's, she has done a lot. Just um, and uh, 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 any member of the any member of staff can attest to this. We, our salary has been has been. Uh, I, I'll tell you after the after the core ministry, we get our salary as I went due, and then the welfare has been there. We've gone on several trainings, both here and online. Then we, she has tried in order to improve us in terms of uh, the capability so that we will not lack in our respective duties. She's a professional person they call. She's uh, somebody that wants to make sure that she gets everything right from the timing to the pronunciation of words in presentation. She doesn't take anything for granted. I your short on Mrs. To me, I appreciate her. Most times, when she's on air, I know. The moment I hear the voice, I said, Yes, this is GM on the program. And that is also amazing that she did not take a sitting position. That I'm now the Oga, Pata Pata. Let the staff do the show and I coordinate. All the man, the leg the plan and to get and that's the way she operated throughout. I pray for her, but uh, I know she's not tired, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's equally deployed somewhere else because that's a very hard working woman. I need to let you know. I want to just appreciate the many years that she has put in to great service and wish her the very best in years to come as she retires from the service. Because I know that she is retiring from service, but I know that she will still be in active service. There, there can't be a party word for me, unfortunately. But I don't even want her to go. So I can't give you any party word. But I can only say thank you for what you I can assure you that uh, Mrs. Ayo Bame Shutowa. She's retiring from service, but I think she's going to retire to greatness. I believe that the woman is an all rounded human being, that she's ready to take another bigger challenge as a pensioner. And she's retiring, but very well, she's not tired, which means she's just ready and willing to take another challenge 
that could propel her into another bigger world. I wish her all the best that she's able to live in service. All the good things she has worked, all the good things she has worked for in the past. I pray that she will so good fit and she will go close This is not the end of, 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 of our time. She will do more exploits. The Lord will grant unto us good health, long life, even to enjoy our retirement. It has not been easy. It has all been God. The God who started with you. That God that kept you. That God that saw you through. God that overcame for you. That kept you till now. That we are all gathering as a family, as a nation, to celebrate you. We say, God, thank you. We are thanking God on your behalf. First and foremost, my prayer for her is that she will eat the food for her living. She has served the God state government with all commitment, with all sense of responsibility and passion. And I pray that she will not go unrewarded. Um, it's such a privilege to be talking about Mommy today. Mommy is such an amazing woman. You know, she is a Proverbs 31 woman. She's so inspiring. She's hardworking. She's a virtuous woman. She's really disciplined, which I really love about her. Um, I'm sure she doesn't know she inspires me, but she does. You know, um, Mommy is a woman who keeps giving. Can give hey god sometimes I'm like hey mommy you know but she's that, that just shows you her heart you know and it's her heart for me um it's her heart for me really she loves being and she loves me you know but i'll just talk about two things that are you know that strike me the most about her one is a large heart uh, my mom has a large heart has a heart that is always giving always looking to give always looking to help always looking to sacrifice you know um, a while ago i stumbled upon a letter that you know um she wrote me while i was in gs1 or gs today about you know and i just i just thought again that this woman has constantly sacrificed all her life all her life you know she's one of she's the kind of person that you cannot have to yourself alone you know as your mom you have to share with other people you know because there are so many sons and daughters you know out there and uh, i'm just so glad you know having watched her having learned from her you know all this while you know how to give how to sacrifice how to just be of help you know to different people and the second thing is that she's very hard working oh my i think that, that that one is something that i really really caught from her you know ever since i was young i saw how she constantly woke up early and how she constantly put her heart to work you know i remember when i was very little i think as as little as two or three thereabouts i had i still have vivid images to today of how she you know they'll come and pick her home in this 505 you know station wagon and i'll just peep outside the window and i'm like ah, where is this woman going to again this morning and it has not stopped you know it has not stopped up until now uh she she stopped me commitment she stopped me how to actually just be hard working and just put your heart you know into everything that you do and you know it's something that you know she it, this might be retirement from public service but um we both know at least she and i we both know that you know work work plenty for our body very well so this is not the end you know it might be retirement from public service but you know this is just yet another phase and you know sometimes I, I was just thinking how our body will adjust to waking up early that is if if she's even planning you know to wake up a bit just a bit later but you know i've seen a woman who's who's giving her all giving her giving her all and i just want to say mom i love you like i call her yeah I love you so much. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for myself, my brother, my the whole family, uh, my family. Thank you for everything that you constantly do for us. And I can just pray. I can only pray that God will indeed direct your steps in this new phase, and that numerous doors will open up unto you. God bless you, and I pray that you indeed um, reap the rewards that are due to you. You know, in this season, in the name. Of Jesus. God bless you. I love you so much. Have an amazing retirement from public service and welcome to yet another work that I know you are ready to do. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. I love you. I met her in 1985 uh, through divine uh, sin. Because the day I saw her, that spirit in me told me that. Thank you.
as a person and a mother, she is very dutiful, loves her job and her family also. She has never disappointed in the home front. And I'm sure in her career too. Well, as a gentlewoman, maybe her time shy. Loving and uh, likable. But she's very competent. Very, very competent. I would like to add also that my wife is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Very supportive. And she has one microwave, one small microwave. That's when she does the money. She has a lot of food for the And she has a lot of food for the money. She has a lot of food for the money. She has a lot of food for the money. After like one hour, she just comes. She likes the man dancing in here. And I'm not going to give you a ceremony. Ah, and you call me my mom, my phone, what you want me, right? Eventually, she will give you. That's her. So, oh, Mama, I'm going to miss you. My name is Kit Layo. I'm your last trust of that. I've uh, been with Radio Legal in Serfem for 31 years. But I spent six years as an artist and concert. So, uh, let me say, officially, I have spent 27 years in Radio Legal to co I joined Radio Lagos, the co uh, in February 1994. That was when I was made uh, a full staff. Working for Radio Lagos, the co has been so amazing. Not I, I love it for 27 years. If I add to the many sisters in this for one year, it's really, it's really uh, long years for me. But there is nothing that has the big difference that we must have ahead. Actually, I got my letter of appointment as Senior Manager of the Social Service, January 26, 2017. But inside the letter, Nobody thought was when I could work as general manager with a person. Being the general manager, I was only for four years and eight months, which I can go. Uh, actually, I was not expecting it at all, at all, at all. But you know, when God says it's ready for you, no one can stop it. When it says yes, no one can say no. So God has been my offer and manager for good four years and eight months. I thank God for offer and manager. There's nobody in this world without challenges, without, you know, good things and so on and so forth. The challenge is I face as the general manager of this year is dealing with you now. So my extremely good, white form are uh, average good, and white form are uh, bad. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> so dealing with them has been the wisdom of God. That's number one. Number two. You know, making to pay salaries and deductions is another object for me. 
And so today, at this hour, at this juncture, I'm making my last signature as the general manager of the local school. So, I am dropping this pen. This day, this wonderful day, as the general manager of the Legal Association, and I am starting to take office.